Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? I hope all doing fantastic. I am just leaving the house. We're gonna go sourcing for tonight's live sale. So I'm hopeful that I can find a bunch of new goodies for you guys today. And we are going to start off, I think, at St. Vincent. Because I like to see what I can find there to sell to Crossroads when I go there. And then um, see if I can make some like money that way also, which I think is awesome. So like I like to buy stuff from there, sell it to Crossroads, and then use that money to buy stuff for the live sale. It's all like, it's I, I like it. I know it's cool. And... It's a fun way to see what they have over at St. Vincent too, because St. Vincent is such a cool thrift store. So if you guys haven't been there, it's SVDPLA Thrift Store, St. Vincent de Paul Thrift in LA. There's also a location in Long Beach, and I think they might be like all over the US, but I know for sure there's two here in LA, in, like in the Los Angeles area. The one in LA though, like, LA proper not in long in not in Long Beach that one is huge it's like the biggest one that's the one I generally go to and it's so much fun so that's where we're going and it is it's overcast it normally is like this this like this time of year has come a little bit later than normally is usually it's like this in like March April it, it was like that though actually this year but it's 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 going later like usually by now here where i am it's hot and sunny it's like in the 90s and today like the high is like literally 70 degrees and right now it's like in the 60s so it's still a little chilly con carne and then the sun decides to come out in the afternoon like around three and then we have like sunshine till i don't know like almost eight and it's beautiful and sunny, but like in the morning, it's like drab and dreary. <laughs> anyway, oh, also, I don't know if I'm gonna go today. I might go tomorrow. It it's, all depends. I'm gonna try to go today though. I might even try to go today and tomorrow, but I wanna go to the Gustav Westerman pop-up in LA. And if you guys don't know about him, he is an artist that makes uh, like home decor, plates, cups, he makes furniture, tables, chairs, stuff like that. And I have been obsessed with him for a while, but it's so impossible to order his stuff. And his plates are literally always sold out. They're also, they also come from like Germany. So like shipping is a lot and He's actually in LA and then the, the items are actually here and I could just like take them with me. And the pop-up started like a week ago. This is actually the last weekend that the pop-up is going to be open. So I kind of want to, I want to go maybe today and tomorrow. I just don't know how crazy the line is going to be because I know on the day of the pop-up or the first weekend of the pop-up, the line was insane. And I just don't have time to wait in line today. If there is one, you know what? I actually might drive by. I might drive by because there is, I think there is like some thrift stores and stuff that are near where the pop-up is. So I might just drive by at least and see how that is and see how long the line is. And if it's not too crazy, don't go. It's just like today, Saturdays are just so crazy for me because I'm trying to go to as many stores as possible to find as many things as possible for you guys. And, oh, don't forget live sales every Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time. I also do live sales throughout the week. I just sprinkle them in, and I pre-schedule those in advance, so you guys will see those. But I do them at different times, sometimes 11, sometimes 1, sometimes 4. And any day, Monday through Friday, I'll sprinkle those in. But, yes. So... That is our update. Oh, Zach is graduated or promoted, whatever, from sixth grade. So he's gonna be a high schooler. It's very exciting. They're all on summer vacation now, so they're all very excited. But they also have like a ton of activities this summer. 
kid and Zach both have water polo. Elizo has his gymnastics, which is very exciting to go back to because he broke his hand not too long ago and he hasn't been able to go back, but he's going to go back. Um, I don't know if he's going back. I don't think he's going back this week. Maybe the week after. I don't know. But he's going back very soon. So he's very excited about that. He misses gymnastics. And I'm excited for them. They're going to have a great summer. My family is still trying to plan a family trip. And I think we might go... I think we're leaning more towards Bryce Canyon. Because we really want to hit up Las Vegas and go to see the One Piece Cafe that's there. And that's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. So, yeah. Can't wait to see that. I think that's going to be... If you guys have been to the One Piece Cafe, please let me know. I know some of you do live in Las Vegas. So, shout out to Las Vegas. Also, shout out to people that live over in Utah where Bryce Canyon is and you guys have been telling me how beautiful it is and it's like I really want to go I love like nature I love going to see those sorts of things I love like a road trip and we haven't been on a proper road trip in so long and I'm really excited you know I really want like one of these days if I can ever like afford it I would love to be able to do like a crazy like road trip across America and then go thrifting and then visiting all the places that you guys recommend maybe even seeing you guys I feel like that would be so cool that I feel like that would be like a cool like TV show like thrifting across America or something and then even maybe hitting up Canada you know because it's connecting and I know Canada has some pretty good thrift stores too but yeah that would be so cool how do I pitch that to like Netflix or Hulu or something. Who would, who would buy that? Who would watch that? Would you guys watch that? I feel like that would be so cool. And then like get like an RV. That would be amazing. That would actually be so cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys over at St. Vincent. And cross your fingers for me. Hopefully we can find some cool stuff today. I'm really excited. All right, just got to St. Vincent. Let's check it out and see if we can find anything cool in here to sell to Crossroads today. Okay, I am inside the store and was looking through the furniture. I was just gonna see if they still had this uh, console table that was like a pottery barn one that I saw last week, just to see if it was still here. Of course it's gone, that one was a good buy. But they still have so much stuff as per usual. So it's always fun to see what they have. Looking through the chairs, didn't really spot anything. And these are like the dining tables and stuff. This one's pretty nice actually. I honestly feel like this might be Pottery Barn. Let's look at the chairs. Oh no, these are Ikea. This is an Ikea table and chairs. How much is this? $150? That's not bad. This is the part of the store that has like the newer or actually like brand new furniture pieces. These new guys are pretty interesting. They hang. They're like a hexagon. This place is weird. like I was just in that giant room over there. That splits off into a second room too. But check out these pieces see these are like brand new
Let's check out the rest of this tour. They have all sorts of golf clubs, but I don't know anything about golf clubs. Canter, they have a surfboard. Whoa, they have like this canoe thing. That's cool. Washer, dryers, stoves, refrigerators, helmets, skates. This thing is like a cot. Leather chairs. That's where they have all the sofas and stuff over there. That side. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't really show you guys any of the clothing as I was going through, but I did find a good amount of stuff. Like there's Disney blouse. Found some Show Me Your Moo Moo, Astro the Label, stuff like that. So that's what I have so far. Definitely just found a fake Chanel sweater. 15 bucks. Hey guys, we are back at the house and I really want to show you guys what we ended up getting today when we went out thrifting. So we did go to St. Vincent and I got a bunch of clothes. I got like a cart full of clothes and then I brought them to Crossroads. I'm pretty sure, I think everything that I bought did eventually sell. I sold um, that day and I also sold today, which was Sunday. So I went to a bunch of different Crossroads stores sold to them, and they ended up buying, I think, everything that I got, so I don't have anything left. I just bought a bunch of clothing, and I love doing that so much, it's so much fun. Um, but, when we went out to sell stuff, we also bought some stuff, so I'm gonna show you guys what we ended up buying. Also, these items are gonna be in the next live sale, but if you're interested in any of these items, feel free to send me an email, it's hadrian at gmail.com, just like it's spelled here, it's also down below in the description box, and I can let you know if things are available and repricing, and if, um, you can always check out the live sales too, the replays are there, and all of the sale prices and items and everything is in the description boxes of those videos, but let's just jump into what I ended up buying, because I got some pretty fun stuff. Let me start off with, this is a Bagu little shoulder bag, this is actually a limited edition design, so this floral design is no longer being uh, made, I believe. So you can't buy this anymore on their website or online anywhere. But I love the print. I think it's so fun. It's a cute little shoulder bag. It is adjustable, so you can make it shorter or longer depending on your preference. It zips across the top. And this one is a brand new, like new condition. But look how cute that design is. That floral print is really, really pretty. And I love it. So that's our first item. Then up next, I have a MZ Wallace satchel shoulder tote bag. This is in a black nylon with black leather trim, silver hardware. We've got the top handles. We've got the crossbody. You have a million compartments with this bag. you got this front zipper. You have a back magnetic open pocket. This is also um, a magnetic snap up at the top. Inside you have a removable zipper pouch and then you have a, another zipper pocket, two open pockets and then it's actually in pretty clean condition inside as well. This bag is in great shape. MZ Wallace bags are so fantastic. They're such great everyday bags and travel bags because they have so many compartments and they're made of like this really nice nylon that is really easy to clean and is water resistant and it's just fantastic. This has silver hardware. The strap a crossbody strap is also adjustable and removable. So this is our next item. MZ Wallace. Next up, okay, so I got a couple things attached to this guy. Let me start off with these little things first. So I got two of these little keychain charm things. And I got a Kate Spade heart. And then the Kate Spade little furry cat they're so cute you guys and they are in like new condition as well so fun i just love a little charm especially because charms are so popular right now as well like putting charms on your bags and um on everything really is like popular everyone is i've always liked putting charms and stuff and customizing my bags but now it's like even pop more popular and it i just think it's really fun this next one this is another cat this is a leopard or a cheetah um, this is a printed calf hair. Then you have like the little nose and whiskers and the ears. It's really cute. This is a wallet on a chain style. And oh, I actually have a, this is a, 
<laughs> Another Kate Spade piece. This is um, a passport cover. So really, really cute. Has the cat, so it matches the keychain. And this is a, like I said, a wallet on chain. So you can actually take off the crossbody strap and just use this as a wallet or a clutch. But it's very spacious. There's a zipper pocket. There's another, like, middle dividing snap pocket. There's a nice big bank compartment. There's card slots. There's a slip pocket. And this is, the body of the bag is in a Safiano leather. So it's going to be nice and sturdy. But it's just a really great piece the design, too, is really, really cute. I think it'll just, like, elevate any outfit. Oh, also, there is a nice big back pocket, and the largest iPhone will fit inside of here. Maybe not in the back pocket, but it definitely will fit inside. Smaller iPhones and stuff will fit into the back pocket, though, if you wanted to put them back there. But such a cute little bag. I love, a, like, a leopard cheetah print, too. It's my favorite neutral. Up next, I have... This little Tory Burch fanny pack crossbody. Um, this is in a black nylon with black leather trim. Great condition. This has gold hardware. It just says Tory Burch New York right there on the front. And then you have uh, two zippered compartments. You do have a buckle right here to undo um, as well. This will fit up to like maybe like a 42, 44 inch waist. And you can also wear it as a body bag. It's super nice. Fits the largest iPhone inside as well. Nice and lightweight, easy to carry, and yeah, Tory Burch. Super cute. I've been really into like fanny packs recently too. They feel like they're so easy to carry. Up next, I have a Marc Jacobs satchel. This one is in black leather. I love the bag because it's such a good size. It's like this black leather gold hardware. You got the top handle, you got the crossbody strap, removable and adjustable. And inside, it does have a magnetic snap up at the top. And then you can also um, snap the top kind of closed like that. And that way, when you do it up, the bag does have like a new shape so it gives the bag like a second silhouette which I think is really cool and then inside you got uh, just an open pocket so this is such a cute bag really really like great for um, every day or work or even travel and it's really easy to carry with this long strap too it makes it really handy and this is our next item, Marc Jacobs. Oh, while we're on Marc Jacobs, I actually have another Marc Jacobs piece. This is the Marc Jacobs Soft Shot. So it's the, it's like the snapshot, but it's a soft shot. This is in the uh, green pebbled leather. This one is squishy and soft. The regular snapshot bags are made out of a Safiano style leather. So it's nice to have this one as a regular leather. There's a pocket here in the back like for a card. Crossbody strap removable and adjustable. It zips across the top and the inside just have one interior pocket. Black fabric lining. Such a cute bag. It doesn't have too much wear on, on the bag at all. It's mostly just some light marks on the hardware. Otherwise, the bag is in really, really great shape. You can put some little charms on there as well and the little D-rings. So you can... Um, you can decorate this bag really easily too. Super cute little bag. Oh, this one also will fit the largest iPhone. Will fit inside of here as well. And I love this olivey green color. It's really, really pretty. Then next, I have another smaller bag. This is the Monsoor Gavrielle Mini Bucket Bag in black pebbled leather. Again, this is a departure from the regular leather that Monsoor Gavrielle uses. This is a pebbled leather as opposed to that smooth, almost box type leather that he uses for his other bucket bags. But this one also does zip across the top, which is fantastic. Crossbody strap is adjustable. And then in the inside, you just have one little pocket and you just have a cream fabric lining inside of there. This bag is in really great shape. It also has gold hardware and then just says Monster Gabrielle in gold writing right down there. And it's a beautiful little bag. Also, this will fit the largest iPhone as well. It'll fit standing up and you can still zip it closed. All right, then we have one last item. This one I think would arguably be my favorite item from our little haul right now. And it is this black Stella McCartney crossbody bag. It's the black, uh, it has in the black Falabella 
um, vegan leather, and it has silver hardware. I love this crossbody chain. The straps, like the chain that Stella McCartney uses on her bags are so nice. Like they feel like, they feel and look like jewelry. We have a little Stella McCartney medallion right there on the side. The top flap is magnetic. And then the inside, you just have one interior pocket right inside of there. So that's all you have. And this again also will fit the largest iPhone. This is a really good size like little bag too, which is really nice. And since the bag is like so slouchy and soft, you can really fit a good amount in here despite it being a smaller size bag. And it's just really cute. The hardware is just so reflective and shine. It's really eye-catching. And even like the vegan leather itself, it also has like some shimmer in it too. So it's really, really cute. And that is going to be it for today's little haul portion of this video. Don't forget to tune in to the next live sale where I'm going to have these items available. And then um, if you can't join that sale, you can always watch the replays of the videos as well. You can always send me an email too if you saw anything that you liked. Um, but tune in to the new video tomorrow at 7 a.m. I do post videos every day, Monday through Friday. And then the live sale Saturday night at 10 p.m. And I sprinkle in live sales during the week. I generally schedule these a week or a month in advance. So you can check out my live sale schedule on my YouTube channel live section uh, of my YouTube page thing. And uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Let me know too if you guys have found anything cool recently at the thrift because I always love to hear about your finds as well. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.